Hello, friend. I'm Mormo, and today we're going to talk about how to plan a Halloween party. First, choose a date for the party. Second, choose the time for the party. From here, try to work on the in invitation wiki, how, shares, create an invitation. Remember to include where, when, what time, directions if necessary, whether or not costumes are welcome or required. If you want people to bring a dish or beverage to share, or if it's BYOB, what, if any, activities are planned, costume contest, haunted yard or room, etc., and whether or not little ghouls and boys are welcome. This, is, this not only lets people know whether or not to get a sitter, but also gives an indication of what kinds of costumes are appropriate. The inv invitations can be made at home on a computer. They can also be store-bought. From there, start preparing the food. The simplest way to create your Halloween feast is to use normal party foods and assign them creepy names for the evening. For example, barbecue chicken wings become bat wings. A, sip, a simple brick of cream cheese surrounded by red pepper jelly can be shaped to easily become bleeding skull. Deviled eggs become devilishly dreadful and a simple punch becomes mummy's blood. WikiHow also lists two recipes that are wonderful. Finger sandwiches are easy to make. Purchase a pre-made breadstick dough at your grocery store. Separate the breadstick per the regular instructions and lay on cookie sheet. Slice pepperoni rounds into quarters. Use pepperoni pieces at one end of each breadstick, fitting the rounded edge out. Bake breadsticks as directed. Split will still warm along the length of the breadstick, but do not disturb the pepperoni. Once the breadstick is almost cool, stuff with the creepy hot dog worms. Now you have creepy witches finger sandwiches. Add another recipe is for eyeball eggs. Use your favorite deviled egg recipe, then decorate as follows. Spread out three or four thin strings of pimento for a red bloodshot look. Use a slice of black olive for the center of the eye and use two small slices of green olive to form a pupil similar to a cat. Let the black olive show through. Finally, WikiHow reminds us of the little trick, one, the, the little ones at the party, if they are coming or if they are trick-or-treaters. If your party includes children, it's a wise idea to give a small gift or favor to every child who comes in costume, in addition to awarding prizes to the costume winners. A small toy glow stick or attractively wrapped popcorn ball would make a great everybody wins prize for this purpose i think the same can extend to adults we all like having goodies and winning something so why not include that for each guest and thanks so much for watching please comment thumbs up or thumbs down uh, and click the link in the description thanks so much